HVAC issue, getting a E103Y1 wire failure from Nest third generation thermostat. Heat working well, but when I turn on AC, the blower runs for about 30 seconds and kicks off. It repeats that. Condenser, outside unit, does not pop on. How can I help with your HVAC question? Getting a E103Y1 wire failure from Nest third generation thermostat. Heat working well, but when I turn on AC, the blower runs for about 30 seconds and kicks off. It repeats that. Condenser, outside unit, does not pop on. Do you know the model of your Nest thermostat? How old is it? Nest Learning Thermostat, 3rd Gen. How long has this been going on with your Nest thermostat? What have you tried so far? Age is 5 months. Anything else we should know to help you best? It's been going on about a week. I've tested wire voltage at thermostat. You might have a broken Y1 wire. I suggest turning off power and picking a different color wiring. Switch it at the Nest thermostat and at the furnace or air handler. It's the only way I can close out the call. If you need further assistance, let me know. Okay, I will try. Tried that, switch the white heater wire and same thing occurs. Fan kicks on for 20 seconds then off. And condenser does not kick on at all. You switched yellow and white. Same AC error. Check your thermostat wire outside by the condenser, outdoor unit. Sometimes a mouse can chew up wires or dogs can dig near them. Make sure you don't have damaged wiring that is causing a short or a no-call situation. This would be a brown wire that has two wires, red and white, inside of it. If so, physically that looks good. Is there a way to test the inside wires with my multimeter? Also, yes, those are the wires that I switched. Here it is. You only have two wires going outside as you described in the brown sleeve. It's most likely a red and white wire. The red carriers power the white is the common together they call the outdoor unit. Inside of the furnace the red from the outdoor unit should go to Y1 and you should have a corresponding Y1 coming from your thermostat to connect on the furnace control board. The way the system works is the furnace produces 24V on the R wire. That goes to the thermostat. When the thermostat gets a call for cooling it connects R and Y inside the thermostat and sends 24V down to the furnace on the Y1 terminal. That should send it to the outdoor unit and it turns on. If you're getting an error most likely reason is the wire is broken somewhere. The best way to test for a broken wire is to get a multimeter with continuity reading. That means when its two leads touch a conducting surface it beeps. Then what you do is first turn off the power. At the furnace disconnect your Y wire and your R wire. Then twist them together. It's very important that no power on at this time. Then you go to the thermostat and remove the R and the Y wire from the thermostat and take your multimeter and read for continuity. If those two wires are connected and there's no breaks in them the multimeter will beep. If it's broken it will not beep. That's how you know the wire is good. Thanks, seems we've verified that there is no issue with wires between the furnace and thermostat right? 
I switched the white wire, which had been working well when used in the W terminal for heat, into the Y terminal and still got the error. Doesn't this show that the error is not with the wire between the furnace and thermostat, but something between the furnace and the condenser unit outside? Or do I have this wrong? How do I test for continuity between the furnace board and the condenser unit? You did. I wasn't sure you did that right at first but sounds good. So to check the outdoor you need to do the same. Connect the two wires going outside together at the furnace. Then go to the outdoor and turn off the power. Take off the side panel. Take a picture of the contactor to rent which wires go where. Then remove the two thermostat wires and sense them for continuity. To clarify we are just testing the thermostat wires in the brown sleeve. They are the thin wires going to each side of the contactor on the outdoor unit. If your multimeter reads continuity through them both that means they're both good and I suspect the thermostat is bad. If that's the case you need to replace the thermostat. Got it. Last question, I do read that the contactor may be the issue as well. How do I test that? Okay first turn on your AC at the thermostat. Note, you have to be careful W contactors because that's where the 240 V go to. Touching that wrong can send you to the hospital or worse. So the way to test the contactor is go outside and disconnect the power to the outdoor unit. There should be a disconnect on the wall by the unit. Carefully take off the cover. Then take your multimeter and sense the small thermostat wires for 24V. If there's 24V between the red and white the cooling call is coming to the outdoor. And if the contactor is not coming on then it's the contactor. If you're getting 24V at your contact the floating contact should be depressed. As long as you have your disconnect off you can stab it with a screwdriver and see if it's depressed. Check all of that with your power off at the outdoor unit. Of course you'll need your power on at the furnace but not on the outdoor. Okay got it. Thanks. It's night here, so I will check the outdoor stuff tomorrow. Can I leave the chat open if I have any follow-up questions? I should have it all checked out by 12 PEST. Yeah sure. I'm around. It's Easter so I may take a little bit to respond. Let me know how it turns out. Also let me ask you for a favor. I don't get any credit for these interactions until I close out a call and I need a rating from you stop do that. Can you rate the experience at the end of this issue? It's much appreciated. Have a good night. Sunny Verified that I was getting 24 volts in the thermostat wire at condenser. Because the Nest thermostat wouldn't allow me set the system to AC, I jumped the system at the furnace terminal, connected Y and R terminals. After verifying that I am actually getting 24 volts out at the condenser, I connected the T-stat wires back to the contactor, but leaving the jump in to see if the AC will pop on without the T-stat. When I flipped the switch, the furnace fuse blew. What would cause that? Also, Happy Easter. It shouldn't do that. If you hooked up your wires correctly, R to Y, then the condenser wires are touching somewhere. The hot Y is touching the common. A broken wire can do that. This is probably your problem. Get a new thermostat wire. 
you probably have to get a roll from the hardware store. Then use a new wire to connect the outdoor and test it again. To save time run the wire loosely on the floor and test it. If the system works then carefully rerun it neatly zip tied in its proper place. I bet you this is the problem. The thermostat could sense continuity between Y and common. Let me know if that works. Okay, so even though I am getting 24 volts outside to the T-stat wire, there still might be an issue. Is your outdoor unit an AC or a heat pump? Replace your fuse. Disconnect the wires from the contactor. Then power your furnace with the wires off the contactor but not touching. With the jumper on between R and Y does the fuse still blow? Or does it only blow when connected to contactor? AC And it only blows when it's connected to the contactor. My original test, take a look at the picture attached, I disconnected the T-STAT wires from the blue wire nuts, kept them separated and tested their continuity. Continuity was there. Then I connected the wires back to the blue wire nuts, which connects to the contactor, turned the AC on and the fuse blew. It does seem like that only occurs when I attempt to jump. When I use the T-STAT, the fuse does not blow. It just kicks off after 30 seconds. Oh okay. You've got a condenser with high and low pressure switches. If the fuse blows when the contactor is connected it is common for the wires inside the condenser to rub through and ground out. Look down the top of the condenser and look for wires that are laying on copper tubes. With the power off take off the fan cover and look at those wires. Are there any melted and exposed against the copper? That will cause a short and blow the fuse. It's a common issue. To fix it wrap it in electric tape and zip tie away from the tubes. I will check that. Thanks. Okay. Dig around any rub points or pinch points that can cut wires. You'll have to hang upside down but it's not too bad. Good luck. We are getting close. Just took the fan off. I don't see any melted wires or exposed. Nothing pinching or rubbing against sharp edges. One thing I forgot to mention, when everything was powered and connected up, I was able to press the button in the center of the contactor and the condenser popped on. Per your description that the fuse only blows when the contactor is connected, the short is in your condenser. I have never seen a contactor coil short but it is possible. I would be 99% the short is a wire rubbed raw. Take several picks of the condenser with the top off and the control panel area. Let me see what you got. Here you go. Okay so the yellow wire with a red stripe is your high pressure switch and the blue wire with a red stripe is the low pressure switch. The way this system works is the 24 volts call comes through the thermostat wire and links to the yellow wire with a red stripe. The 24 volts travels though that wire past the high pressure switch and then onto the blue wire with red stripe loop and then goes through the low pressure switch and back to the contactor. If both switches are closed your contactor turns on. With that said the short is somewhere in that loop. Here are some ideas, 1. Cut all wire ties and zip ties. Then follow that entire loop inch by inch looking for a cut or a burn mark. You will usually see a blackened area where the short is. 2. 
You can eliminate a loop by disconnecting the yellow slash red wire and connecting the thermostat wire to the blue slash red wire direct. If that does not blow the fuse the short is in your yellow slash red. If it still blows the fuse then it's in your blue slash red loop. 3. There is a small chance the contactor coil is shorted. You can order one and try replacing that. Were you able to check anything on this unit? Did you find something in the wiring? Let me know how it turned out. Hey sorry for the delay. So yesterday I noticed the coil on the contactor had some burn marks. All the stores were closed so I'm in the process of replacing it today. Question I do have, my new contactor has different terminals that will not accept the U-shaped wire ends. Can I cut those off and connect the wire straight to the contactor? You can. The only thing you have to confirm is the new contractor has a 24V coil. They come in 120 volts also. 120V won't work. You can also hook the 24V thermostat wires either way. There is no polarity with coils. Yep. Just looked at the box. Coil 24 VAC no work and 4143 now I'm not sure if this was burnt before or while I was diagnosing. Hopefully it's the cause of all the issue. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. We are very close to solving the issue. I'm sure we will resolve it soon. Hey Sunny. I replaced the contactor and I ended up having to use a different T-stat because my nest stopped responding, which kind of mucks up everything, but everything is working. Heat and AC are both popping on. Great to hear. So it was the contactor after all. That's rare but you got it. You're one step closer to being an HVAC technician. Hey do me a favor when you can please review this experience. That helps me out. Feel free to reach out if you have any other questions. Will do. Thanks again. No problem. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.